Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, GE announces new advanced turboprop engine, Sandell gives King Air owners an option, the Bell 505 flies with true blue power. I'm Brie Cross, it's November 17th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. GE Aviation announced a whole new turboprop engine at MBAA on Monday, which has already been selected by Textron for a new airplane. Jim Campbell talked with Brad Motier, Vice President and General Manager for Business, General Aviation, and Integrated Systems, who said the Advanced Turboprop, or ATP, is an all-new power plant inspired by their work with the H-Series engines. We announced today the Advanced Turboprop. This is an engine we have had on the drawing boards for a number of years. It delivers 10% more power at high altitude cruise while burning 20% less fuel. And it also has an integrated propulsion control. So the, in the cockpit, there is one lever. Mm -hmm. The pilot doesn't have to worry about setting and adjusting the propeller and the um, engine throttle. Uh, it's all in one lever. Now, as I understand it, Textron has adopted this for their single-engine turboprop, and that's obviously a great start to a new program like this. Was this engine designed initially for this particular program, or what are you looking for beyond that? Well, about five years ago, we started doing design iterations and meeting with different airframers. And through each successive design, through cycle deck complete modeling like we do on our large commercial engines, we started to improve the engine up to a point where it could differentiate itself, not just the engine differentiate itself from the competition, but allow the airframer to differentiate a future airframe. So at that point, Textron uh, looked and said, we're going to have a, uh, a competition, and we want to develop a new uh, airplane, single engine turboprop. And so we participated in that uh, competition, and fortunately we were the uh, uh, the one that was chosen. Mateer said that the engine will be installed in a new single-engine turboprop under development by Cessna. One of the first big announcements at MBAA this year came from Sandell, which introduced Avalon, an aggressively priced retrofit flight deck serving King Air owners. Avalon is intended to redefine how modern cockpit avionics are designed, built, sold, and installed. Jim Campbell talked with Jerry Block, president and CEO of Sandell Avionics, about the new system. Jerry, MBAA 2015 has barely started and all of a sudden we've got our big story so far for the day. Sandell is building a whole panel for the King Air series initially, but I imagine you've got to be looking at other airframes lustfully at this point. Tell us about Avalon. Avalon was a system that we conceived of a number of years ago, have been working on, and we are trying to improve the uh, safety and efficiency a flight deck as we go into the next five to ten years of change of airspace with next gen. And so we targeted the King Airs and we developed a system specifically for King Airs. And yes, it applies to lots of different airframes eventually, I suppose, but right now it's just King Airs. Now you kind of shocked a few people here because you're talking about $175,000 installed. How are you going to do this? The manufacturing costs have been reduced without compromising any quality or safety. We do our own manufacturing, we do our own design. And it is built in such a way that we've completely eliminated the wiring harnesses. So that changes the whole equation. All the equipment is mounted behind the panel. It's still remote, but it's only a few inches away from the displays. So it really is a complete change in uh, installation technique. And the panel comes pre-assembled to the dealers, so they're out um, of the necessity to um, deal with small boxes and LRUs and so on and so forth, so they can service more customers in a shorter amount of time for less money. After the break, Bell 505 helicopter to use blue power battery.
Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Meet Sam, the new 2-inch standby attitude module from Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics. Sam's unique two-screen display features high-definition graphics and extra-wide viewing angles. Get to know Sam today. Visit FlySam.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Bell Helicopter has selected the TB-17 lithium-ion aircraft battery from True Blue Power as standard equipment on the Bell 505 Jet Ranger X. Todd Winter, president and CEO of True Blue Power, said that Bell determined the TB-17 was a perfect fit for the new aircraft while announcing a number of recent certification results. We've been in touch with a number of OEMs and we're helping them understand our technology but we had the product that fit their mission. It was what they needed and wanted to have in their helicopter for all the right reasons, saving weight, better engine starting performance, durability. So we were ready and they came to us and it's happening very quickly. Bell has become a very good customer for us. They're also using a number of our inverters, both for special missions, power in the cabin, if you will, of the helicopter, but also for avionics. We, we provide some inverters that do both. Um, and of course, they love our USB chargers, too. They're installing those in the helicopters as well. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here is this week's Aero Calendar. On November 18th, AOPA, Air Safety Institute, is holding a safety seminar at the Quad City International Airport in Moline, Illinois. The event takes place at the John Deere Global Aviation Services, FBO. The topic to be covered is the issue of aviation weather. The seminar is designed to reflect reality as you'll follow along on two fictional trips, answering questions and debating answers along the way. The advent of lightweight electric motors and battery systems has revolutionized model airplane flying. Find out more about it at the Venice RC Electric Fun Fly being held on November 21st and 22nd in Venice, Florida. It's being held at Memorial Field and is open for all to see what electric flight is all about. Food is available, there will be a candy drop for the kids, a collection of toys for Toys for Tots, and much more. Next, we take a trip across the pond to Dublin, Ireland, where the Aircraft Economic Life Summit 2015 will address the issues of aging on aircraft. It takes place November 24th and 25th. The summit will take a fresh perspective as they review the trends and the risks identified as older aircraft return off lease. The question becomes what happens to these and other maturing assets. However, if a trip to Dublin is not in your plans, keep in mind that the largest business aviation gathering in the United States is now taking place in Vegas. NBAA 2015 got off to a great start and it will be running through this week. Keep watching Airborne Unlimited and follow our online reports on Aero News as we cover this exciting and important event. Jim Campbell and the ANN crew are there to bring this important event directly to you. After these messages, the Beechcraft King Air B300 gets extra range. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. 
For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Commuter Air Technology of Oklahoma City has introduced its maximum endurance upgrades for the King Air B300 aircraft. Their 350 ME upgrades add a total of 280 gallons of fuel, which achieves a flight time of 12 plus hours with a range of 2,760 nautical miles. Adopted from a new service recently launched by Honeywell Aerospace, weather on board for FlySmart with Airbus will be available to airlines later this year. Delivered via an iOS or Windows app, the service provides real-time weather information during flights from takeoff to landing. Cyberjet Aircraft has signed an agreement with Rhineland Air Service based in Germany to become a Cyberjet Customer Service Center. This is Cyberjet's first authorized international service center appointment which will support its U.S.-based customers as well as those based in Europe. Diamond Aircraft has introduced its jet fuel powered DA-40 at MBAA 2015. The airplane is equipped with Behringer wheels and improved shock absorbing capabilities for backcountry operation. Its turbocharged engine only burns about 4 gallons per hour of jet fuel. Well that's it for today's trip around the patch, now let's move on to the rest of the news. The Honeywell 24th Annual Global Business Aviation Outlook reports that as a slow growth economic environment takes hold across many global markets, business aviation is also affected. Honeywell Aerospace forecasts up to 9,200 new business jet deliveries worth $270 billion from 2015 to 2025, which is a 3 to 5 percent reduction over the value noted in 2014 forecasts. Brian Sill, President, Business and General Aviation, Honeywell Aerospace, said in part, quote, While emerging markets like Brazil continue to be a bright spot for business aviation over the medium term, we have seen weaker demand across other key growth markets, which may affect near-term order and delivery levels, end quote. The report indicates that operators continue to focus on larger cabin aircraft classes, ranging from super midsize through ultra-long range and business liner, which are expected to account for more than 80% of all expenditures on new business jets in the near term. This annual outlook reflects topical operator concerns, but also identifies longer cycle trends that Honeywell uses in its own product design process. The survey has helped bring about investments such as designing and developing flight efficiency upgrades, optimizing propulsion offerings, innovative safety products, and enhanced aircraft connectivity offerings. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. 